Hello guys, today we are going to, I'm going to show y'all all of my stuff, like money and stuff, rocks, silver, so let's get right into it. First, I'm going to show y'all money, so I have all of this. That's all of my money from my wallet. And now I am going to show y'all probably coins. So here are some coins right here. Oh, wait. So also these. These dollar bills are super rare because they don't make them no more. Two dollar bills, they do not make these no more. And if you have these, never spend them on something. You have to keep these because um, they can be worth a lot sometimes if they're rare. But yeah. And I have a little thing of silver. some gold in there and then some hematite this is magnetic and I have So I'm pretty sure these are wheats. Yeah, this whole thing is filled with wheat pennies. I have some other ones. Let me find them. Yeah, so both of these things are full of wheat pennies. If you don't know what they are, they are these. The back is different because it's a certain date. This one is 1951. And if you find a 1943 penny, it's a steel penny, and I have some of those too. So, here are coins from other countries, like this one, I'm not sure where this is from. But it's a very small dime. And I have another one. One from the Bahamas. One from Canada. This one is like a magnetic penny. I don't know why. Mexican dime. And then a coin from the other side of the world. I think it's from like China, Japan, something like that. And then Panama. That one's really cool. And I also have some Canadian ones. I will show you those. I have lots of these. All from Canada. So this is the back. This is the front. And now I will show you some super rare pennies. Super rare. These ones. These are from, some of them are from 1800s. Look at that. 1893. It's 
the front, and here's the back. And I have a bunch of those. I found all of these. All the Canadian ones. The wheat pennies, I found those two. Those are like, kind of rare, but not that rare. I will show y'all my rare wheat pennies. So, normal wheat pennies, they just have a different back and they're super old. So, we are going to get into rocks now, but these are all of the just normal coins. And there's some in here. And now I'm going to show y'all the rocks. So here are some crystals. Pretty cool. And these me and my dad um polished these they look pretty cool not this one i just found that one in the woods or something but yeah those look pretty cool don't know what that is this one is another crystal there's a bunch of crystals in here. And my dad found this in the woods. He was starting to wrap it in steel. But he didn't want to anymore. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I have some really big rocks and I do have some stuff from deep below. Lapis. A bunch. This whole bag is full of lapis. Um, also, I have some pyrite. I have a bunch of this. Pyrite, aka fool's gold fake gold full of that also here I think it's a very old clam yeah I think it is um, also more crystals crystals are like I have the most of crystals out of all of them that is really nice crystal. You can see right through it, just like glass. I have a bunch of that. Also have some shark teeth. Speaking of shark teeth, let me find it. Um, it is right there. So this guys this is from millions of years ago a megalodon tooth my dad found it when he was like at the ocean or something pretty cool um what else I have just fossils, stuff like that. Also, I have some of this. Very nice crystals. Put those in the bag. I have some electric eel teeth, I think. Pretty sure. And 
I just have a bunch of crystals and some lava rocks. Pretty common. But probably my rarest ones are um, shooting stars. Pretty cool. I have quite a lot of those. I found this at the beach. But that has a lot of crystals and not really sure what that is. It might be cor coral or something. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm going to get into some more rocks. Put all that way. So now we are going to get into really big rocks. So this is probably the coolest rock that I have. Some obsidian. Pretty big compared to my hand. Also have this. Some granite. And some super big, big um, crystals. more of that really clear so here are some more I think yeah some more big shark teeth Indians made these long long time ago And then one of these, I forgot what they're called. And yeah, that is all for the rocks for the tree. So now we await. Oh I still have some rocks, but they're not really worth that much. They're just these, so, like, those pretty cool rocks, polished, pretty cool. I have some more of those right here. That one, I think it's glass. This one I found. I'm not really sure what that is. Might be obsidian or something. But yeah, these ones are super small. And that is all for the rocks. Now we are going to get into silver. So let's get right into that. Okay, so now let's get into silver. So I keep it in this little box. I have lots and lots of silver. Get it all out. Super old coins. So here are these steel pennies that are, I was talking about. So 
So those are made out of steel. Very rare. Super duper rare. This more silver. Again. Indian silver. Again, some bars of silver. One ounce. Three one ounces. And then a five ounce. Have some more of those. I also have some copper. Not really worth that much. But yeah, some copper. And this, people. These are not common. So, guys, these are called proofs. I found that. I found two of those. I'm not really sure what the other one is. It's literally like a mirror. Then here's the back side. Pretty shiny. And pretty sure I have some more silver. So here's some more copper. These are 2009s. I have a whole entire tub of these. So these look like normal coins, right? But the date is 2009. They have a different back on them. I'll show you the new one. The rarest ones are like towns. I have a bunch of like cabin ones. But I found some town ones and the town ones those are the weirdest but here they are also these are rare um yeah a whole top of those And I have some things to check the coins, magnifying glasses, more copper, silver. I'm not really sure where my other silver is. Here are some proofs. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they have to be over 2002, I'm pretty sure. And then one time, I was going to search some pennies, but I got the whole entire penny box was just full of 2019s. Yeah, we took it back. We didn't search it. Some more silver. I have a lot of silver. Okay, so here is all the silver. Some of these. These are really cool. So you can buy silver off of that place right there. But yeah, they look pretty cool. Okay, so here comes all of my silver. So, two silver quarters, some buffalo silver. Don't forget that one. <laughs> That's some dirty silver, kind of. I have to clean it. And then probably my coolest silver bars, but I have two Lego ones. You can stack them. Some of these. 
pretty rare. One dollar coins. And then here comes the real stuff. So here's another dollar coin. More silver. Another dollar coin. These pretty old. Benjamin Franklin half dollars. More silver. These are probably the rarest. Really old half dollars. This one. More silver. That one's a quarter. Silver. Silver quarter. These are super old too. A barber. Quarter. More silver. More silver. Barber dime. Another barber dime. Another one of these quarters. Silver nickel. Silver. Another silver nickel. Silver and a barber. And still have some more. Thanks. So yeah. So these, um, my uncle gave them to me, and they come a lot. So I have lots of barber. Barber half dollar. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. It says a hundred dollars on it, but I don't think it is. Who knows? <laughs> this coin, super light. So my dad, he has a whole box of coins, and this one certain coin is like it's so old it just turned into like a sphere a sphere with a crack it's like bc or something i'm not sure where that's from i heard that those are really old 1965 that one a lot of these coins in here I'm not really sure where they're from. Uh, Canadian. I think that some Mexican it says twenty dollars. Not really sure. And I have that one. It says new pence on it. And then, this is a really cool coin. It has a hole in it. Another silver one. Oh, it's 1942. Um, this one. That one's not really that old. It's from 1982. Also, you can barely tell that one's really old. I think that's a 
barber quarter. I'm not really sure. It's really small. Not a dime. It might be. No, it can't be nickel. Yeah, I think it's a quarter. I have one of these. I think some of these might not be silver. I think they are, though. Nickels and dimes out. A lot. Pretty sure I got all of them, but silver. Some of them are, but some of them are too. Actually, no, those are just normal. Those, not really sure because you you can't really tell. Only by the date you can tell. So I have some of these. These are also really cool. They're not like gold or anything. They're just normal coins from different countries and stuff. I'm gonna get all of the like copper coins or something. Found another dime. Is one of them. Another Indian. I'm not really sure what that is. But lots of Canadians and really super duper small penny it's like smaller than a dime some countries they make some pretty cool sometimes weird coins one of these i think those are super rare canadian and here are all the other ones Even lots of so guys these nickels they're super rare buffalo nickels I found those also I have one rare one this one is from Singapore And I have it's in like a coin book. There are some other those. So I have all of these. other ones
this one. Some pretty weird coins I got. And I think I have just a little bit, but I do have some bicentennial quarters. These are kind of rare too. You can tell by the um, front, it doesn't say something normal, it just shows a date. And that's the back. So those kind of rare. Those. So yeah, those. And. Yeah, I think that's it. So guys, I hope y'all liked looking at it. Please like and subscribe. Peace.